So what's the history of the colony here? The history is ever since I was little, there was always a house two blocks down that had cats everywhere. As far as I know, the gentleman that lived there never fixed the cats. Years later, the gentleman moved and I was on the couch one day and looked out the back door and I see 10 cats I've never seen before. Man. A feral cat is a domestic cat that was born in the wild and has had little or no human contact at all. In a neighborhood known for feral cats, it's not unusual at all to suddenly have the population surge and congregate in areas where there's shelter and plentiful food. How many cats do you think that you're dealing with out in your backyard alone? Roughly 20. 20. Mm -hmm. Now, over the years, I know that you've been active in TNR. But you still haven't caught Mama Cat. Correct. TNR stands for Trap, Neuter, and Return. The idea is to spay and neuter these cats so they can no longer reproduce, and then you bring them back to their colony so that the colony will eventually die out, naturally. Typically, animal shelters try not to even take in feral cats due to the fact that they don't have any socialization to humans, and statistics show that 99% of ferals never get adopted. So the best way to stabilize feral cat populations is through TNR. Let's start talking about the cat who's being affected by the cats, you know, the <laughs> Chloe. Chloe. She's gotten um, very highly agitated. She pins her ears, tucks her tail, and just runs. I can't just pick her up and snuggle with her like I used to. When a cat has an acute and sudden change in temperament, the first place I'm going to look is environmental factors. And in this case, I don't got to look very far. So, so, what do we got here? Hello, my love. What's going on? You don't have to be freaked out. Look, I'm gonna sit down. Do, 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 do. Are you oh. kidding me? We walk back inside and Chloe is literally climbing up the windows. And what's directly outside those windows? The backyard where the feral colony lives. Chloe is clearly agitated by the feral cats living in that backyard. I know once the ferals are taken care of, Chloe's gonna be just fine. So, we've got a nice size problem on our hands. We've got, what, 20 cats. I want to know who's adoptable and who's feral. The way we do that is I want someone else to come up to the cats, be able to touch them, that whole thing. Since some of these ferals are socialized, there's no reason not to try to get them into homes. This is going to help diminish the colony and calm tension on the home front. The next thing to do is map out mama's movements, which brings me to your last assignment. My goal is, obviously, this is the most obvious statement of the day, we're gonna trap mama. This is the most important thing, important enough that I'm gonna help out, along with my friends from Stray Cat Alliance. Now by trapping mama cat, of course, she's not gonna be able to reproduce anymore, and it's gonna be less likely that other cats from other colonies are going to come in and take over this backyard, and the colony itself will die off naturally. Okay. Operation Catch Mama. Traps are set and fingers are crossed. Okay, here she comes. It's Mama. Here she comes. It's Mama. There she is. Going towards the trap. Please go. Please go. Please go. Please go. Please go. Please go. She's getting She's in. Oh. So we're trying to catch Mama Cat and she's really trap savvy and we've almost had her in a couple traps all day, multiple times and she's right behind me, isn't she? Come on, Mama. Test, test, test. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Is that Mama? That's Mama. There she is. Going towards the trap. Please go, please go, please go, please go. Please go. Test, test. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on, girl. Come on. I don't have the nerve for this. She got the food, man. Mama Cat is so smart and crafty that she even grabbed the chicken from the back of the trap. She somehow knew how to grab it and she backed out of the trap. My heart can't stand this. Can we just set up a drop trap and take yeah. it from here? Yeah. Yeah, okay, let's do that. Mama is uh, sort of trap savvy, so we're gonna move on to a drop trap. When you go into a drop trap, it's a much bigger and wider space. It's elevated, they don't have to go into a small place. So it's a very effective way to catch them, very humane. So for a cat that is trap savvy, it works really well and effectively. Here we are again, drop trap. Mama, please, <laughs> please, where are you? Here she comes. Why is she coming to the window? Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah! We gotta go! Okay, go, 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 go. go. Oh my 
It's okay, oh, Mama. It's okay. It's okay. Mama. All right. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay, it's okay, baby. Hold on, baby. You're okay. All right, All right, let's get the transfer trap, you guys. Okay. All right, cool. So Mama Cat is trapped in the drop trap, and I am so relieved. I can't even tell you. The weight is just gone off my shoulders. I am so excited. Nice going, guys. Yes. Get this girl fixed, man. Stray Cat Alliance is off to Fix Nation to have Mama Cat spayed. Mama Cat was the last cat in Kim's colony that needed to be fixed. And now that Mama's caught, it means the colony's gonna stop growing, Chloe will be calmer, and life for Kim and her parents are gonna get better. Ah, oh, what do we have here? Look at her climb. Just like on my first date, Chloe was literally climbing the walls. Once Mama's fixed, there won't be any more kittens, or even better, no neighborhood Toms coming around. But now that we've gotten Mama taken care of, I wanna give you guys some homework. So, um, number one, I want you to commit a little more to the education by just walking around with some of these Fix Nation flyers to your neighbor's homes and just hang them on the doors. Now that the feral colony here is contained, it's time to help the rest of the neighborhood because as much as I like the warm welcome I got on my first visit, I do not want an angry mob waiting for me in my final visit. Just get rid of them. The next part of the homework, Kim, I want you to lead the effort to TNR your entire neighborhood because it, it is part of your mission as well as mine, as well as everybody in Stray Cat Alliance. Because right. we can take care of Mama Cat, there's hundreds of others in this neighborhood. So the last part of your homework, we're going to start with Gray and, and Big Red, is to continue to socialize them as you've been doing, but step it up a little bit and get them ready to be adopted into a new home, which will be really cool. So let's oh, say goodbye to I'm Mama. I'm actually a little emotional. I mean. I'm thrilled. Yeah, me too. <laughs> I'm really thrilled. Thank uh, you so much. No, it's, it's my pleasure. <laughs> and girlfriend? You ready to go? Are you ready? You ready to go, my love? Good girl. It's okay. All right, okay. Here we go. All right. Ready? And go for it, babe. That's it. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> that feels good, huh? <laughs> I know it was a really powerful moment for Kim, but it was for me as well. I mean, by spaying Mama, the colony's gonna stop growing, Chloe's gonna be calmer, life for Kim and her parents are gonna get better, and Mama is also gonna be a healthier, happier cat. So, adopting out Red and Gray, how's that been going? I can't exactly say goodbye to the cats. <laughs> oh. No. These are our cats. You're blowing my head off right now. It's just amazing to listen to you guys. I thought it was always us two <laughs> against one, and now it's those two <laughs> against <laughs> one. Never doubt the maternal instinct for <laughs> yeah. one right? hot I second, know, man. You know. I guess you're right. So I changed my mind. They're going to be our cats and our colony, and yeah. that was a big deal for me. There you are, little missy hanging out. That's a change, right? Right. You've got one, two, three cats outside feeding, and you've just got Chloe sitting in the window. Just hanging. A little angel. She's not trying to bolt out of here. She's not trying to climb the windows. Honestly, she's just a little more centered. Right. When there's less chaos out there, she's going to reflect less of that chaos in here. And there won't be any neighborhood Toms coming around looking for Mama Cat and spraying the yard with their scent. I think life's been easier. Uh, and I wanted to thank you for coming in, because we've come a long way in the few weeks we've been doing this. And so I really appreciate your help. It's my pleasure.